driving in space is a tricky process. When you don't have gravity to give you something to push against, how can you steer? And spaceships don't have unlimited fuel tanks. So how can we drive without using much, if any, fuel? Let's find out in this episode of How to Build a Spaceship. Spaceships orbiting Earth generally have two ways to help point and steer without using traditional fuel-guzzling thrusters. Reaction wheels, or RWAs, and control moment gyros, or CMGs. Reaction wheels control a spacecraft's pointing. They work using electric motors, which spin the wheels to tilt or rotate the spacecraft by changing its angular momentum. They're great for things that you want to sit still, like communication satellites pointed at fixed targets on the ground. Control moment gyros, or CMGs, on the other hand, are good when you need to move things fast in space. Like if you need to move your camera really quickly to get an awesome shot out the window of a moving train. Remember, these satellites travel tens of thousands of miles per hour, so pointing them to get clear images for you to use in something like Google Maps is really important. These gyros work by generating what's called gyroscopic force. Basically, this force gives us fast steering in space. So basically, if you want to stay stable, use RWAs, and if you want to move with agility, use CMGs. So RWAs and CMGs spin really fast, like 6,000 revolutions per minute. Why so fast? Well, the steering torque that the wheel generates is a function of the wheel's size and how fast it's spinning. So by operating at 6,000 RPM, we can reduce the size of the wheel, and then it takes up less room on the spacecraft. The other interesting thing about the steering torque we've been talking about is in some wheels, it's comparable to all of the cars in your favorite celebrity's garage. Does that introduce any kind of special design requirements? It does. The bearing system that's in the wheel uh, has to last for 15 years at 6,000 RPM nonstop. It's like pushing the gas pedal in your car all the way to the ground for 15 years without having an oil change. The other thing is that the rotating mass that's inside the wheel, it has to be finely balanced. And that's because you want to avoid any micro vibrations into the satellite, which could cause blurry images. It kind of sounds like a dark art. It is. We've been honing our craft for more than 40 years. I'm Joel Wagner, and I'm a proud space nerd. And that's how you can point and steer your spacecraft without using any fuel. Now, getting your spacecraft to Mars, that's another story.